छोड़ गया जो तू कैसे जिएंगे हम Subscribe to our YouTube channel and press the bell icon to get the latest updates. Instagram may have just dealt a death blow to TikTok. On the 8th of July evening, Instagram announced it will start testing Reels, its 15 second short video feature that mimics TikTok's short video format to a T. Keep in mind that TikTok is now not available in India after it was banned on the 29th of June along with 58 other Chinese apps. Because of the ban, TikTok can't do much about competing with Instagram at the moment. This is business. This is business. Hey. TikTok had 200 million users in India, and India was their largest user base. Instagram has a reported 165 million active users a month in India. Now Instagram is bidding to take over the short video space that TikTok popularized and made the Chinese app a pop culture phenomena in India. One reason Insta is gunning for TikTok's vibe is that short videos are what Indians crave. Facebook India head Ajit Mohan has admitted that in India more than a third of the Insta posts are videos. Meanwhile, Facebook product VP Vishal Shah has said We are constantly listening to our community and have heard that they want to make and watch short form videos on Instagram. Another reason is money. In Indian digital advertising over 3400 crores is spent on social media platforms and Facebook gets the lion's share of this revenue. Insta still made more money than TikTok according to digital marketer Lakshmi Balasubramaniam, co-founder of social media marketing agency Green Room. TikTok only started monetizing in 2019. Keep that in mind. The latest figures suggest TikTok India revenue was 43.7 crore. Instagram's India revenue is not known, but Instagram globally earned more money than YouTube in 2019. But the Pitch Madison Ad Report 2020 says about India's digital ad revenues that in the segment of social, Facebook's absolute dominance is starting to be chipped away by the likes of TikTok. So, for the first time, an American company's dominance in the social media segment was being threatened, and with the ban on TikTok, that threat has been removed, and no one knows when India will lift this ban. Lakshmi adds that right now it is actually former TikTok videos that are being posted on Instagram's Reels feature. So in a way, Insta is literally the new home of TikTok videos. Definitely, Instagram as a platform was making more money in terms of ad revenue as well as you know influencer um, activities were happening more on Instagram. So TikTok might have you know slowly started kind of picking up because when it did, it has insane number of you know users. uh tiktok and instagram has already tapped tiktok star content creators to start making content for insta's new feature reels these tiktokers include ami work gipi grewal arjun kanungo and radhika bangia you may have never heard of them but they had millions of fans on tiktok tera hasna bhi jannat hai tera taaweez jannat hai gangnam style Insta wasn't the only app trying to move in on TikTok stuff by the way. There's a bunch of Indian apps like Chingari, Mitron, Roposo and Twitter back share chats Moj. But while there is a lot of media buzz and downloads of these Indian apps, research from business intelligence from Kala Gato shows Indians are just not using these apps as much as TikTok was used. Users would spend over 50 minutes on TikTok But even after the ban and TikTok is pretty much down to zero, the Indian apps are only used for less than 30 minutes. Lakshmi says the reason Insta stands out over Indian apps is that Insta has higher quality content. Instagram was good in terms of you know content regulation or even um, content quality. Instagram was uh, definitely good. It is also painfully obvious Indian apps are still trying to live up to American quality of technology. Chingari co-founder Sumit Ghosh posted screenshots of his app and asked on Twitter, "Does it look like Silicon Valley standards?" And Indian players like Chingari are still not fully ready for the surge in user traffic. They're still fixing bugs in the app. 
nor is Chingari ready to capitalize on the surge in users created by TikTok's ban. Their co-founder Ghosh says they will only be ready to monetize and get advertisers by September. Compare that with Insta, which has access to high-quality technology and Facebook's powerful advertising tool, which allows advertisers to micro-target consumers thanks to Facebook having access to large sets of user data by virtue of being the world's largest social network. According to tech observers, they cautiously feel Instagram has one of the best chances to capitalize on TikTok's absence if they play their cards right among apps like Raposo and ShareChat. I see two clear leaders emerging. One, uh, Instagram with about 150 plus million users as I hear and uh, overall Facebook has about 250 million users. So they have possibly the width advantage today. And number two is Raposo, uh, coming from the stable of Inmobi, which is also a, a legacy strong organization. I hear about, about 50 million plus users and them as well. So if Insta gets the Reels Act right and, and Raposo as well uh, goes in the same way, and if both get contextual to the mass in the user, they have a clear advantage. All this is great for Instagram, but what about the rampant cyberbullying on its platform? Mumbai-based anti-cyberbullying organization CyberBarp, which stands for Cyberbullying Awareness, Action and Prevention, says in the 51 days between 6th of May and 25th of June 2020, the organization received 326 cases of cyberbullying and most of the cases, 43% happened on Instagram. TikTok was a minuscule 2%. Don't forget teenage suicide, where a minor committed suicide in May this year after he was accused of sexual assault through an Instagram post and the boys' locker room case, where young users were talking about young female users in a sexually derogatory manner. Here's what Instagram says about the bullying and how it tries to stop it. I think the first thing to just uh, to talk about is privacy and the fact that we have a private setting. And we encourage people to think about whom they let into their Instagram experience, right? And you get to choose who follows you and whom you allow into your Instagram. So that's one thing we always recommend uh, for people to think about. The second thing is about comments and moderating your comments because a lot of the negative stuff happens in your comments. Um, so we've introduced a bunch of comment moderation tools, which I encourage people to look at. Uh, you have an automatic filter which weeds out language that we as a company, as Facebooking, uh, have deemed to be offensive language and uh, we don't think belongs in people's comments. So if you turn that filter on, those words will not appear in your comments. Uh, there's a manual filter, which means that you can create a set of keywords that may be specific to you and your issue. Um, so the example that I always give people is that I have had the I guess, luxurious experience of having somebody call me bhes, which is the Hindi word for buffalo, on my Instagram. Will this be enough to keep users safe as Instagram unlocks Pandora's box of addictive short videos on its platform? For the sake of young Indian users, let's hope so. For The Print, this is Regina Mihindukulasuria. Do not forget to subscribe to The Print's YouTube channel and keep tabs on us across all forms of social media, including Instagram.